Since the release of my previous Hyperland on NixOS video from half a year ago, the Home Manager and NixOS modules received numerous updates, with one of them being the ability to declare your entire Hyperland configuration with Nix syntax. And so in this video, we are going to install Hyperland on NixOS, configure it with Nix, and even install some plugins for it declaratively. So without further ado, let's begin. With the special NVIDIA patches option being removed, installing Hyperland is now just as easy as setting programs.hyperland.enable option to true and rebuilding your system. You will immediately have access to Hyperland in your preferred display manager and in the TTY. For purposes of this video, I also recommend you to use Hyperland package from the official Hyperland flake, because it will give us more control when we get to installing plugins. We will obviously use Home Manager extensively today, so if you don't have a Home Manager setup yet, now is the perfect time to check out the Ultimate Guide video or install it yourself. Open your home.nix file or any other Home Manager module, and let's begin configuring Hyperland. Most of the magic happens in the settings option, but if you check the Home Manager options list with man home configuration.nix command, you will see that none of its sub options are explicitly listed. And that is because like many other home manager options, this one gets translated into Hyperland syntax dynamically. If we take a look at its example definition, we can see that it bears a strong resemblance to Hyperland syntax, meaning we only have to learn a few differences between them to begin declaring it. Firstly, to avoid confusing Nix language, options with special symbols like dollar sign or dot need to be surrounded with double quotes. Secondly, Hyperland allows us to assign many key bindings with the same bind command, which is not possible with Nix syntax due to the set keys being unique. This problem is solved by adding all values into a list and assigning it to a single bind attribute. This also works for any other Hyperland commands, like animations or exec ones. Lastly, the value part of every Hyperland line is treated like a simple string with Nix syntax, so even if it contains spaces, commas or parentheses, wrap it in some double quotes and you are done. You can now easily configure Hyperland with commands and values found on the wiki simply by slightly adjusting the syntax. But the obvious question is, why would you want to configure Hyperland with Nix in the first place? And the answer, of course, is to make use of the Nix features. With the most basic example being Nix colors. Just by interpolating base 16 colors into active and inactive borders, you can synchronize your Hyperland colors with the rest of your system. A more complex example would be inlining entire shell scripts for key bindings or startup execution. We can also interpolate binary path into those scripts to further improve our configuration. Finally, we can expose options that will affect our configuration, allowing us to have different layouts, monitor setups or even key bindings on different machines while still reusing all other parts. This example is pretty simple, but if you include conditional logic in these expressions, you can come up with some very interesting results, just like the monitors option from the Home Manager modules video which you can find in the link in the description. Another benefit of using Nix to configure Hyperland is the ease of installing plugins. While recently introduced HyperM plugin manager is recommended to use on other distros, the official Hyperland plugins repo still includes a flake. Let's use it right now by including it in your flake inputs and making it follow Hyperland's flake to ensure that you never get version mismatches. We can finally go back to our home manager module to install some plugins. Let's try it out by adding borders++ plugin to our plugin list and then configuring it as shown on the GitHub page. Rebuild your home manager configuration and as you can see we now have double borders around every window. Packaging your own plugins is also very simple, because if you take a look at all default.nix files in the Hyperland plugins repo, you will see that all they do is compile C++ code against the Hyperland version which we pass to it in the flake. And now I would like to thank the sponsors of this video, specifically Hoskins, P Easy, Aiding Band Ponder, Not A Nut, Uni, Xavier, Albert C, Attila, Stefan Schroeder, Magi00, Zero Zero, Zero X Mouseless, Mathis, Jimo, Cyvert, Vodros, Uncle Simon, Master How to Learn, Slim5782, and also the people who supported the channel previously. As usual, don't forget to check out our Discord server, leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed this video, or subscribe if you are feeling extra generous. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.